Hey guys and welcome back to episode 4 of Villainous Level 99. Let's get straight into things. I, yeah, wanted to forget that this is how we ended things, but now I remember, okay? How could you be magicus? Two years, sweetie. Two, two, can, two, can you not count? <laughs> so, sweetie, listen to your own words. Two years. Two. Two. One, two. <laughs> yeah. Not only are you magicus, but like harassed as well. <laughs> what? Okay, no, I'm done. I'm done. She literally called out her black hair and her being a demon lord because of black magic. And y'all are freaking out about you merely doing something to her. And you're also blabbing about top secret information. Well, now the whole school knows. Title drop. <laughs> wow that was the most infuriating i think start to an anime i've ever had and no i need a break after that this this do i need do, two years can she not count and just the fact that all three of them it was already worse with alicia but then all three of them apparently would be like what are you doing you be Aaliyah? like okay we're calm. We are calm. <laughs> He's like, this logic. <laughs> she is literally just trying to enjoy a peaceful lunch, which you guys have absolutely ruined. Oh, yeah, good point. You think you can beat a Amelia? You three are too weak. True, true. You guys do realize that Yumelia is joining you on your party and defeating the demon lord. Well, orders of the queen, wasn't it? No! Oh, true. Oh, you're so sweet. Take on the teachings of Yumelia. <laughs> That solo grind. Occupational performance. You weak. No, somehow I thought they got offended. Uh, if she wanted to kill you, I'm pretty sure she would just used her black hole on you. Thrilled? Okay, look, maybe a little bit terrified. These guys don't appreciate Emilia's top secret training regime. Oh, now everyone's scared off again. Oh, I'll save this for the better. I know, I don't like their superficial friendship anyways. That's the only thing I was kind of maybe thinking into, but I think she's too dumb for that. <laughs> Sweetie, what are you doing? Just chilling in the windows. <laughs> nice girl. You even ruined a moment with a cat. Alicia has her ways. She's not kind to everyone, she's mean to you. Something you need to do? Yes, pat the kitty cat! Yes, this is the scene I wanted. No! Do you like Yumili's nyanya? Oh, I think maybe that's... It's because you're so strong. 
Best boy? <laughs> Absolutely. I need I need more best boy because currently there's too much too much of idiocy. I need like a nice balance. Okay, you mean it. Because it is an Otomi game. Why did you think? Oh, you do have a brain cell. But you do not. Okay. The fuck? That is not how Yumelia looks at you. But I guess that's how she sees Yumelia? Yeah, she's on your side. Look at us. Be grateful for her help. I love how Yumi like, literally looks like photoshopped into that scene because she looks so like not like a part of it. Oh. Where is this headache coming from? I don't know. Oh, the dumbass principal. He still owes us an apology. Ronald, the new principal. I was wondering who. There was one more character in the opening. Yeah, but you seem like you'll be more trouble. On the king's orders? Does he have a brain cell or does he not? Yeah, because all the people around the king were pretty trustworthy. Yeah. But recently he's been unstable. Okay, is this maybe, you know, like the Otomi games effect of Alicia? Yeah, how exactly did they even get information of two years? Favor? Huh? Field lesson? The hidden boss attends field lessons on the administrative side, did he say? Oh, true, I guess you can like one shot everything, so. Mm. She'd like hardly get any XP out of it, like being in a noob zone. Shouldn't they be with the special training for them? Yeah, because they kind of need to catch up. But you merely did. <laughs> and more. You merely just like these noobs. Oh, what was that? Patrick. Finally, we get the names of things. And a logical boy at that. We're actually having a normal conversation. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> totally sweetie, all you. <laughs> I mean, it is the right method. Kind of dangerous, but I guess it was Yumelia. Sweetie, do not use the flute. Yumelia, what have you just done? She means well, guys. Good luck. Oh my god, are we glad that Patrick was here? Very efficient, our oh boy Patrick. Oh, that's cute. I know, compared to like Emilia's magic. <laughs> nice, nicely handled. Emilia, what have you done?
yeah, that is just pure chaos. Good training though, good training. I'm not gonna lie, it's solid training, but... But you kind of put... Yeah, I'll boy the tight spot there. Wait, you generally don't know? Next to this? You really Stop, sweetie, what are you doing? Hmm. Okay, now I just feel bad for the monsters. Go ahead and attack them. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there's something kind of wrong about this. She's like literally giving you free XP. I don't mean by the monsters. Oh, you mean me. I do like how Patrick went first. It wasn't necessarily your magic, but just the way you went about this whole situation. <gasps> he protects, but she one punched. <laughs> Wait, you can heal too? There's one downside, however. Oh, oh. Oh, they had to censor that. Are you right? <laughs> to protect you. I thought you were in danger. Aww. Yes, he did. <gasps> and I see a tiny faint blush blush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And one for you, Amelia, too. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of need to give everyone a heads up, sweetie. No, no, that's not what we meant. Sweetie, for fuck's sake! You really have stop. You're going to cause the extinction of the monsters. What just happened? Slow down. I know that Yumelia meant well, but yeah, I think she does need to work on her like delivery, the way she goes about things, which I'm hoping that Patrick will kind of show her because Patrick seems like a very like logical, noble person based on the fact that he was indeed worried about Yumelia, even though everyone knows that she is indeed level 99. He was more so concerned about the fact of how I guess she went about things, which is exactly what kind of got me worried on um, this episode as well. Like I knew Yumelia was extreme but i don't know she will cause a situation like this so hopefully like patrick's words kind of get through to her as they also get to know each other a little bit more as well because yeah i think it is indeed the first time we got to understand that this is the first time that anyone's actually ever cared about Amelia in this world it's like her parents abandoned her we clearly know the situation at the school with the idiotic trio and alicia so yeah that's why we can see that at the end her Amelia also kind of had a blush happening because she's never actually had someone care for her or worried about her and and the harm that could come her way. So yeah, I'm definitely hoping for more Patrick screen time because yeah, the start of the episode made me feel dumb. But that said though, I guess with Alicia's like, I don't know if it's the Atomi game effect or if it's her light magic effect, but we could clearly see that she sees Yumelia in a different way. And that also applies to the animals as well. And that's why the kitty ran away. So that's why Alicia looks at Yumelia as though she's monster because that's how she sees her. Like, I don't... As I was saying, I don't know if that's the Otomi game giving her that effect, or maybe it's the light magic, seeing the auras of the dark magic. And then also the new principal mentioned that the prince and the others weren't like this before. So yeah, knowing my like Otomi game villainous stories, I'm thinking that maybe Alicia has some kind of, you know, effect on them, a Tommy like heroin effect on them. That makes like them dumb, pretty much is what I'm trying to say, because they're so like infatuated with Alicia, because that's how the Tommy game has to play out. But yeah, with that, make sure you guys say awesome, and I'll definitely catch you guys next week.